Hi, right, this is Paul Solt from iPhone Dev TV. I'm going to show you how to convert user input into values that you can use. Typically, user input, well, all user input that's going to come from a text field over here on the left when the user is typing. So if I type a, a number like 33 or 22, any kind of value, and I press the, the press me, I want to use that value in my application, I need to convert it from a string. And so it's part of the text field. So I've already got this little app that I put together to demo this technique. And I've got a, a text field. I've got a message label where I can print something out to the user and I've got this button press. So let's go ahead and grab that value. We're going to use the if let syntax to unwrap the, the conversion of the value from our text field. All right, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to say if let and what we want is the age. So we just want the age from the age text field. Now, in order to get that, we need to convert it into a double. So what I'm trying to do is use a number that I can use in my calculation. So I'll say I want to convert the value, and then it's going to be our age text field dot text. So anywhere where you're getting user input, you can do this. Now, since this is going to be uh, optional, we do have to unwrap it with the exclamation mark, and that's it. All right, so then we can open up and in here we can send a message to the user. So let's say message label dot text is going to equal, uh, let's just say something fun. So neat, you are, and then we can put their age here using that variable that we've just created and we can give them the age, years old, and that's it. All right, so if maybe they give us an invalid value, let's just go ahead and do that just for fun. And here we could just say something fun like that doesn't look like a number. So when this is going to fail is when we cannot convert from whatever the string is that the user inputs and, and turn it into a double number. So this value right here is going to be our double value. We're gonna unwrap it so that we can use it in this expression, but we can also use the numeric value in our calculations in our app within this top if statement. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. And now if we type a value like 23, we say press me. Now it says neat, you are 23.0 years old. Now the reason it says dot zero is because I'm using the double conversion. If you wanted just a whole number, you could just change double to int. And we save and run again. And we can type in another value, 33, press me. And now we just have an integer value. All right, but I really wanted to show double just because double is new there hasn't been a way to convert natively in swift now swift 2 provides that so it makes it super easy again we're using the failable initializers here we're using a text field the text field has an optional string property called text which is why we need the exclamation mark on the end all right so that's it for converting numbers using the if let syntax and the new conversion abilities of swift 2. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button or leave a comment down below. Hi, this is Paul Solt from iPhoneDev.tv, and I want to let you know about my new course. It's called Super Easy iPhone Apps. This is a brand new series that's designed for Xcode 7 and iOS 9, along with the new version of Swift, Swift 2. All right, so if you want to make an iPhone app, this is going to be the best place to start. I'm going to show you the best practices. I'm going to save you time showing you shortcuts that you can leverage in your own iPhone apps and really get you started making your very first iPhone app right away. So if you want to learn how to create an iPhone app from scratch without any prior experience, you don't have to be a programmer. You don't need to know C or Java or any of these programming languages. You can start today with Swift. All right, so just click the link in the center of the page. Click anywhere on this video link and you can jump over to learn more about super easy iphone apps thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy the tip that i shared please click the like button and share this with someone else all right so thank you for sticking around thank you for supporting me and learning how to make an iphone app